Okay, here we're going to look at gas refrigeration, and really this is just a refrigeration cycle that uses gas as the working fluid, be it air or carbon dioxide or, or what have you, okay? And the, the use of this is you can achieve very, very low temperatures. So if you need to, say, get liquid nitrogen or something, you can get temperatures of gases much lower generally than you can get of... Um, you know, different water and refrigerants and things like that. So we can use the gas to achieve very, very low temperatures. Also, due to its size, um, it, it's helpful in, in transportation, be it car air conditioning or airplane uh, air conditioning. Okay, so that's really what these are used for. Now, it's really just reversing the Brayton cycle. Okay, so just going rather than, you know, uh, you know, rather than, you know, pushing it through a, a turbine, you know, or compressor, then a heat addition and into a turbine to get, you know, work out. We just reverse that where we go to the compressor, then take heat out of it, throw it through the turbine. Okay. And then we've got very, very cold uh, at that. Okay. So our work and heat transfers are, again, just delta H's. Okay. It's just, again, reversing the cycle. Okay. Uh, as versus what we had before, okay? Um, and our coefficient of performance then, again, for a refrigerator, would be Q in, which is the cold space, the heat transfer of that cold space, divided by the total work, which is going to be compressor minus the turbine. Okay, so unlike on the vapor compression where we had an expansion valve, we actually will use uh, the turbine because we'll actually get a significant amount of work relative to the compressor uh, out of this, okay? So... Again, it's exactly the Brayton cycle, just in a different order, okay? Uh, and again, it's, you know, you're putting work in to cool something down as opposed to uh, heating something up to get work out. So it's, you know, different function, but the, the same general cycle, just kind of reverse order. So other applications, and I'll just go through these kind of quickly. And again, these are in your book if you want to read a little bit more detail on them. But you can make modifications, like a regeneration type thing that I have here. And what this will do is actually help us lower our uh, temperature a little bit by basically pre-cooling, so to speak, uh, the air you know, before it goes into the, uh, the, the refrigeration space. Okay, So um, you, you, know, you can make modifications. But again, the, the process is the same. Okay, and we did this with regeneration on the Brayton cycle. Of course, we were kind of heating it up rather than cooling it down. But, again, go set your states and whatnot. Again, for aircraft cooling, you know, you can pull in air. You, you know, compress it, send half after compression, send a bunch on to, you know, create the jet, the thrust out the back. Take the rest of it. What you can do is you can go take that in through a turbine and then what comes, you know, create a little bit of power, and then you'll have cooler air that you can then pump into the cabin. So, um, again, the idea behind this is, you know, using small weight, I can get, uh, you know, relatively good cooling from that. And in fact, maybe a little bit of extra power uh, that comes out of it, okay? What I have here is is, is what's sometimes used in automotive air conditioning. Uh, if you, you, you know, if you're not using refrigerants, you know, sometimes they use carbon dioxide for this. Um, and, you know, I mean, you could go through, we could go through and figure this out. Um, but, you know, this is the sort of system that, that can be used in automotive air conditioning. Again, rather than going into too much details on these, I mean, again, with all of these, you're just going to go through, you're going to set your states, okay? And then once you have the H values for each state, you just use delta H's to figure out what you're going at. And we've done enough of these now that, you know, I'm not going to dwell too much on this.